Today we're going to continue with project 1.8 build a body app. Our main objective for today is to go ahead and learn how to update the score. Now the design requirement or criteria in our project says that the user will gain a point for every correct placement of the organ body system onto the correct human body outline placement. So what we're going to need to do is whenever the brain would actually collide with the brain placement, that user should gain a point. And the same should be true for the remaining three organ systems. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need to first update the user interface. We're going to need to go ahead and add a score label in order to display the accurate score. In order to do this, we're going to go ahead and set our screen one properties to the following. We're going to make sure that the title is invisible as well as that the app is scrollable on the screen. This will help us when adding some components to the bottom of that UI. We're going to need to insert a horizontal arrangement at the bottom of the screen because we will be placing other components as we move forward with this project. Inside of that horizontal arrangement, we're going to use a label and we're going to call that label score label. That will represent what that global score variable will equal as we go through this project. Now let's go ahead and take a look at MIT App Inventor and how we can go ahead and set up our UI. Once you have your Project 1.8 Build-A-Body app opened up in MIT App Inventor, the first thing we want to do is change some of these components in our screen one. This will allow us to remove this title bar at the top as well as scroll within MIT App Inventor so that we can see some of these components we're going to add at the bottom of our screen. In order to do this, we need to go to our components tab and click on screen one. From here, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to go ahead and see that our scrollable is unchecked. We're going to go ahead and select the scrollable button and then we're going to go ahead down and uncheck that title visible. As we add components to the bottom of our screen, we will see a slide bar here where we can scroll up and down to see everything that's on that user interface. Now that we have that done, the next thing to do is to go ahead and add a horizontal arrangement. So we're going to go to our layout tab. We're going to select our horizontal arrangement and we're going to drop that down to the bottom of the screen. Make sure that it's outside of your canvas one. We don't want this to be inside of the canvas. Now that you have that arrangement, we're going to go ahead and select the width and we're going to change the width of that horizontal arrangement to fill parent. Go ahead and select OK. You will see that we have an arrangement here where we can add multiple components in a horizontal fashion. What we are going to add first is our score label. In order to do this, we're going to go back up to our user interface. We're going to select our label and drag it into that horizontal arrangement. Once you have it in that horizontal arrangement, we're going to go ahead and rename this as score label. This will help us to find the component once we are in the block view. Go ahead and select OK and you'll see that your name has now changed. From here, we're going to need to change some of these properties. We're going to go ahead and make the font bold. We're going to go ahead and change the font size to 24. We can go ahead and change the text to represent score with a colon and then a zero. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and change the text color to blue. Once you do that, you now have your score label, which we can update using a global variable. Now that we have our designer view completed, the next step is to go over to our block view and look at the logic behind our variables. The logic that we're going to be using for this is going to be located in our touch up event handlers. Now remember you have four of these event handlers that we need to focus on. You have the brain, respiratory system, digestive system, as well as the urinary system. We will need to complete this code for all four of the event handlers. So what we're going to look at doing is what we want our program to do is anytime one of the organ systems collides with its correct organ system placement, the user should gain a point. And we're going to do this by setting a global score to get whatever the global score is and then add one to it. We're going to need to initialize a new variable in order to do this and we'll call that variable score. We will also need to set our score label to reflect the change in our variable. We will set our score label to join the score label text along with whatever the current global score is. Let's go ahead and look at our block view on how we would do this. Once you're back in your MIT app inventor, go ahead and navigate over to your block view. What you should see is the last four event handlers that we created for the touch up behaviors. And we did this for the brain, respiratory system, urinary system, and digestive system. 
We are going to be modifying each of these event handlers in order to update our score. Now, in order for our score to update, we're going to be using a global variable. Up to this point, we have not created a variable for our score. We do, however, have variables for the organ systems as well as their placements. We're going to need to go up to our variable drawer and we're going to go ahead and select or initialize a new variable, which we're going to go ahead and call score. From here, we're going to go ahead and add a value of zero. So when the program initializes, our score is going to be equal to zero. Now that we have that variable, we can go ahead and modify each of these touch up event handlers. Now, what we're going to need to do is if the brain collides with the brain placement, we want the brain to move to the correct location. We've set the brain enable to false. We've set the placement visible to false. And here is where we would want to update or increment our score. So we're going to do that by going to the variable drawer and we're going to take this set block and we're going to drop it in the then statement. From here, we're going to go ahead and set our global score, which should now appear in your drop down list. And we're going to increment this by one. So we're going to need to grab a math block or an addition block. We're going to grab our get. So whatever the current variable score is, and we're going to go ahead and simply add one to it. Now this will increment your score by one, but it will not be displayed in that score label. So in that designer view, we created this label called score label, and that is meant to represent whatever the current variable is. So what we're going to need to do next is we're going to need to find that score label and we're going to go ahead and set the score labels text as well. So anytime we set a variable, we're going to want to set the label so we can see what that variable is equal to. In this case, we are going to set the score label text to get whatever that value is. Now, by doing that, we should be able to see what the score currently is. Once you have that done, you're going to need to include these two lines of code into the additional three event handlers. Once you do that, your program should look like this. Make sure you add the join text box along with the score and variable combined. The last thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is just check our app companion to make sure everything is working correctly. Now you can use your app companion on your tablet or Chromebook, or you can go ahead and use your emulator if you're using a PC. What we should see happen here is if we drag the correct organ to the placement, we should see the score gets incremented by one. So here if we drag our brain up to the brain placement, we see our scores incremented by one, our digestive system, our urinary system, as well as our respiratory system. So you can see that our score variable and label are working correctly. We are now ready to move on to the next part of our project.